How's it, Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com, coming from Monday, August the 16th, as we get this video to you every day around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second. Today, your free pick is going to be between, oh, let's give it to you in the WEA, between Dallas and Chicago. Uh, and then we'll also talk to you uh, about, um, yeah, and then we'll also talk to you about Chicago and Cincinnati in the in baseball as well. So those will be your two uh, thoughts today. And then we'll also talk to you uh, for YouTube Premium. We're going to talk to you about the Angels in New York. And we're also going to talk to you about Washington and Vegas, uh, both of whom I think are good selections today. And I think you will. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy both of them as well. All right. So that is what we have for you today. And uh, what do I need to tell you here? This is Doc Sports. I'm Indian Cowboy. Doc Sports has been around since 1971 uh, for over 50 years. And Indian Cowboy has been around uh, since 2007, so uh, almost 15 years now, and uh, we, uh, you know, we do our best selections are over at DocSports.com. We also have a YouTube Premium channel, which is our next best selection, and then after that, we have our free pick and leans, which we do for you every single day, and uh, and yeah. So let me tell you how yesterday went for us. Um, we had a good day yesterday. We won our five-unit baseball selection yesterday on the over in the Padres um, Arizona game. Uh, and then we were also able to hit uh, nicely uh, with our seven unit WNBA selection as well on Seattle and Chicago over the posted total. Uh, that brings us to a really good run right now as it relates to baseball. We, in baseball, I think we're on a five and one and eight and two run uh, on the diamond. Um, and then also a, yeah, five and one, eight and two run in baseball for plus 2,800. We have a seven unit selection today, by the way. Uh, in the WNBA, we have a seven-unit selection as well, and we're on a 5-1 uh, run in the WNBA for plus 1830. Uh, Korean baseball, we are on a 3-0 and 5-1 and and run there as well. Uh, next MMA card is on August the 21st. We'll have three selections there. Uh, WNBA, you know, we've won four straight seasons in the second half. Baseball, we've now won five straight seasons in the second half uh, when it comes to baseball. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And a soccer four-unit selection with Villarreal and Granada. Nice three-unit winner yesterday as uh, we gave you the under in the Santos game, which was a nice nice winner there. Uh, and as it relates to football, obviously we had a perfect weekend in football. We went 3-0 and for plus 600. We won our NFL game of the year on the Raiders, minus the 2.5 over Seattle. Um, the three, you know, football week we had was the three unit on the Raiders, which was a winner. We also had a two unit winner on Washington, the Patriots under, uh, which was a win and the bears, which was a win. So three, and know, plus 600 sweep in football, four, and oh, start to the football season plus 800, three more football selections this week. Jump on the early bird football package while it's still there. We have seven football selections this week. We do the, um, I see seven this year. Uh, we kind of do one play of the day in all sports anyway. So it kind of makes sense for us to do seven football plays primarily in the NFL, but we will have plenty of college um, sprinkled in there as well all right i think that's about it nice winning day in the horses as well as uh, we continue to do really well we were the site leader in horses last year all right your free play today uh let's go ahead and uh what do we have here i can give you a free play and a lean and then obviously when football comes we'll sprinkle in the football too but um you know we try to get you a couple games here and then uh, if you're interested you can always hop on a youtube premium for two more thoughts as well um I like the over today uh, between Chicago. Well, which one are we going to give you? We're going to give you Chicago and Cincinnati, or we're going to give you Dallas and Chicago. This is in the WNBA. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give you the Cubs and the Reds over the total. Let me give you the um, let me go ahead and give you the line. I think I saw a nine and a half here, and you'd have to ask yourself why is this total so high. That is the first thing you have to ask yourself. And I like the over nine and a half runs here just because I think the Cubs have had such good success against Wade Miley. Cubs have now lost 10 straight games plus again. Uh, Steele was five innings, five hits, and three runs against Milwaukee, and he had two home runs. He has a good ERA, two and one with a 2.95 ERA, but I think he's going to have a letdown here at Cincinnati. I don't think he's going to pitch as well. Miley is five innings, five hits, three runs, and one uh, home run against Atlanta. But he went four seven and three and six ten and two six innings ten hits and two runs against the Cubs. Even the Cubs can hit Miley. 
Um, it is funny to see a total of nine and a half for the Cubs, who simply don't have a great offense. But I think this game goes over the total today. I think the Cubs finally bust out in Cincinnati. They see a friendly face in Miley. And then you have a young pitcher in Steele who kind of gets his bearings a little rocked today at Cincinnati, which is a tough place to pitch. Like the over nine and a half between Cincinnati and the Chicago Cubs for your free play. An additional lean for you here is take a look at Dallas and Chicago under in the WNBA. Dallas has lost four in a row now, including a 59 to 80 loss uh, in their last contest. And uh, they just got rocked by Connecticut, who was rocked by Seattle. So that's to see how all the dominoes play into effects, right? Seattle rocks Connecticut. Connecticut gets mad and then goes rocks Dallas. Now Dallas, I think, is going to show up on defense, you know, after giving up 80 points in their last game. And they've given up 99 and 85 and 95 and 80 points, 9 and 13 overall this season. And Chicago's 11 and 10. Chicago just won a thriller, 87-85 against Seattle. But that was without Sue Bird or Brianna Stewart, and they had played terribly defensively. I think that'll change here. They did beat Dallas by 10 earlier this year, uh, but then Dallas came back and beat them by 10, too. So they have a little bit of immediate revenge on them, too. Dallas scored, I think, 90 points on them. Too much familiarity between these two teams, and therefore I like the under between Dallas and Chicago. So your free play here is Cubbies, Cincinnati over, Dallas and Chicago under. YouTube Premium, nice winner yesterday as we gave you Minnesota, the Lynx, and New York over. It's been a good YouTube run. I think we're on a 24 and 15 uh, 20 and 13 and uh, 7 and 4 runs. So hopefully uh, your two YouTube thoughts are going to be Washington and Vegas in the WNBA and the Angels in New York and Washington and Vegas will definitely be the YouTube premium selection. It's a good one. And, uh, you know, uh, don't forget, um, we've also given you the Texans under the four wins or under four and a half wins is what we gave it to you as uh, we're 7-0 and with the NFL Futures the last seven years and we give that to you for free on this video. You know, just a, We've talked about this extensively on the video, but just a really difficult schedule for the Texans. They're a mess. Tyrod Taylor is not the answer. Uh, complete dysfunction in the front office as well. Incredibly tough division with the Jaguars trying to prove themselves, the Urban Meyer and the new company, and the Titans and the Colts as well. And I also like the Cowboys over the 9.5 wins. I think Kellen Moore is going to turn it around this year. A good offensive coordinator. Um, Dan Quinn is a good defensive coordinator. Not a good head coach as from a Falcons fan, but a good defensive coordinator. A lot of stability now with the Cowboys organization. I think this is the year they probably get 9 or probably 10 wins for the over. That's what we have for you. Uh, if you get a moment, take a moment and like and subscribe. It takes a lot of moment to put all this free content for you every single day. And uh, please take a moment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. And Twitter followers will have your Twitter consensus report out there for you as a courtesy that we do. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day.